from the banks of the Olin Tangi River, Golden Gopher basketball is on the air. We're coming to you live tonight from Ohio's capital city, Columbus, where the Golden Gophers match up with the Ohio State Buckeyes in a Big Ten midweek battle. Coach, how you doing? Minnesota, they come in leading the conference in block shots and steals. One of the most athletic teams in the league, one of the most physical teams in the league, but have lost five straight in this building and have won here only once. physicality of Minnesota. They try to push you off your spots and the way that the officials are calling the game, this may help Ohio State. And they are calling everything very tight. Let's go, let's go. Left wing to Thomas. Thomas against Williams. Dribbling into the left corner and a foul call. Foul on uh, Rodney Williams. That's his second. Oof. Williams out. 6'11 sophomore Elliott Eliasson in for Minnesota. Austin Hollins and Andre Hollins are going to have to pick up most of the scoring here in the first half. Motto Ocean, it's left point, has the ball stolen right away by Shannon Scott of Ohio State. Scott up the middle of the floor, bounces Thompson, low on the right, driving, lays it up, banks, then falls. And Thompson hung in the air and got it to fall for his first field goal. Eight to shoot. Collins with seven will set the play in motion on a 1 4 flat between the leg dribble. Crosses over. Free throw line jumper is good as the shot clock wound down. Four for Hollins, 26 23. Ohio State leading. Kraft quickly hits a dunk from the head of the key. And that'll be a 29 23 Ohio State lead as Aaron Kraft answered Hollins' bucket with a big one of his own. Not the great start that Minnesota was hoping for, pretty much the opposite. And Minnesota is just absolutely careless with the ball right now. Lobs oh, it to the basket, throws it over Mbakwe's head and out of bounds as Mbakwe was set up right of the rim. Never had a chance. You know, you're throwing that to Rodney Williams, that's a different story. Ball knocked away and stolen by Ravenel. Down the left side, Ravenel in the air, dumps it, Evan Ravenel. This is an embarrassment. And it's over and it's ugly. Ohio State 71, Minnesota 45. It's going through a tough time right now, and, and this league is pretty, pretty, pretty good. And if you don't bring it every second, every day, every night, then this is the result. Being back home, get to see my family, and then, you know, I'm really close with Coach Izzo. Preparation-wise, there's not a better coach in all of America than Tom Izzo. Judd was the same way. He would prepare us for our opponent and had us in a winning situation, both offensively and defensively. Then they both cared about their players, and they created family atmospheres here at Michigan State. That's why we all come back. He follows us, he watches. You just follow. So you jump to it. And now, that's right. First thing I see whenever Magic meets our freshmen is big eyes. I see that our guys are sitting there, wow. He helped me out a ton last year. You know, from the beginning of the season, I was really struggling. He actually gave me a call, and it was just like, you're not the guy who's always out there smiling, out there, you know, intense, loving the game. That's one of the greatest players to ever play this game. To have him in your corner, you know, helping you out, helping you try to reach greatness, it means a lot. They can always come, my door is open. They know I'm around the program. I'm always here. For me, it's just a love of giving back to the young guys because Terry Furlow and Benny White, those guys gave back to me when I was here at Michigan State. Is it going to be hard not to cheer behind the mic tonight? Am I going to sit here and lie to you and say that I don't want Michigan State to win? That would be, that would be, I, I would be lying and everybody else in here know I would be lying. I love Michigan State and it hurts me when they lose. Four or five teams I think can really have a chance out of the Big Ten to win the national championship and we're seeing two of those teams play here tonight.